Well, we're about two weeks behind here on Pi 26 Ways because, well, unfortunately the past couple of weeks I've been sick. And during that time I was still designing, but unfortunately I wasn't able to get in front of the camera. And while I might not have been feeling very super, you know what is super? The Super Nintendo Entertainment System. And we're going to be Pi-fying it here today on Pi 26 Ways. Let's get to the design. And here I have not one, but two Super Nintendo case designs. As I got into the design, I decided I wanted the option between having a closed cartridge bay or having an open cartridge bay, which you could then insert a little cartridge into. There are some design challenges that came about with this case because, well, whenever possible, I like to have a fan installed in my Pi, and the top of this case doesn't really allow for that to be done very easily. So I decided to put the fan underneath. This also meant that I had to have some 3D printed feet to allow for clearance underneath for airflow. On top of that, I wanted the USB and Ethernet to be accessible from the back because I wanted to keep the controller input on the front aesthetic the same as it's supposed to be. So ultimately I ended up having to install the Pi, well, upside down, and uh, the HDMI and USB power are accessible from the side. I also separated out both the power and reset switches as well as the ejection button so you could print them in the color of your choosing, but these will have to be glued in after the case is finished printing. So let's send this to the printer and get it assembled and see how it turned out. And here we have everything we need to build a Super Nintendo themed Pi. So in terms of printed parts we have both types of shell, the one with the open cartridge slot and the one with the closed cartridge slot. For the one with the open cartridge slot, well, we have a printed cartridge that has no label on it as of yet. We have two switches, we have the eject button, and we have four printed feet. For electronics, we've got our Raspberry Pi 4 with a 30mm fan, and then to hold it together, we've got some M3 by 10mm screws for the fan, and some M2.5 by 8mm screws to hold the case together. I've also got some crazy glue here that we're going to use to attach all the non-moving printed parts together. So for my case, I'm going to go with the open cartridge slot so we can go ahead and move the closed cartridge slot out of the way for now. And we'll start off by attaching the feet. Now the feet are going to be necessary because we need to make sure that we can ventilate this fan hole properly, which means there needs to be some clearance underneath. So it's just a matter of making sure that they will fit which they do. And from there, we can use a little bit of our adhesive. And with our feet glued into place, we can go ahead and place that aside and get to work on our top case. So we'll start off by gluing in our ejection button, which is going to go in underneath. So we'll just add a little glue underneath for this to stick onto. Press our ejection switch into place. Then flip it over, apply some adhesive to each of our switches. And press them into place as well. And now we'll give it a chance to dry for a bit. Next we can go ahead and get our fan mounted into the bottom. And we'll just go ahead and use some M3 by 10 millimeter screws and screw them right into place. Let me go ahead and install the Pi in the top half of the shell by lining up the ports and dropping it into place. Connect our fan with the 5 volts and ground. Then line up the two sections of shell. Make sure that you don't have wire sticking out of the front like that. And with the two sections done, all we have to do is put on our M2.5 by 8mm screws and screw them into place. And with our case fully assembled, all that's left to do is drop our cartridge in, and now we're printing with power. 
These turned out great. And while I didn't finish building the no cartridge design, I am really happy with the way it turned out and I'm glad that I did it. It's nice to have the option between having your fully closed case or being able to customize it with your favorite Super Nintendo game. The colors on this one are a little off. I would have preferred probably to do it in this lighter color, but unfortunately I ran out. Putting the Pi upside down I think was absolutely the right way to go. Having the USB and Ethernet on the back means that we can keep the proper aesthetic in the front and still have all the ports you need back there. And as always, the HDMI and power are accessible from the side. So if you want to build your own, well, I'm going to be releasing the design on Thingiverse and you can pick your with the empty cartridge slot or with the closed cartridge slot, whichever one you like. And if you do print one, make sure you post your make on Thingiverse. I'd love to see what you guys do with it and how close you get to the colors. Well, that's it for this week on Pi 26 Ways, but I have a head start, thanks to being sick, on next week's design. And if everything goes well, the design I'm going to be presenting is a lot more involved. It's a full project. So make sure you tune in and let me know what you think. And if you have ideas for future builds, let me know in the comments below. I'm still got a couple empty slots in there that I might be able to fit them into. All right, that'll do it for this week. But until next week, stay creative.